So I have this little dollar store mason jar that has a little saying on the front and I'm just gonna basically cover this with black Wise Owl paint. And this took two coats. Once that was covered and dried, I took a uh, snow owl, also from Wise Owl Paint, and did one coat of the white and trying to avoid full coverage. All paint products can be found at chocolatefancy.com. And once that was dry, I took a sanding block and just gave it a good sanding. And I found this canvas from Hobby Lobby over in the, um, it's an 8x16 over by the uh, canvas area in Hobby Lobby. And this is considered a burlap canvas. I found these little ferns at our local Dollar General. And once arranged, I took a popsicle stick and some hot glue and used it to hold down the ferns on my burlap canvas. Then I took my uh, dollar store mason jar and glued it just underneath the ferns using some hot glue. Now I had these miniature sunflowers. They kind of remind me of uh, Black Eyed Susie's. So I'm going to just make a little flower arrangement over top of the ferns coming out of the top of the mason jar. I had picked up these uh, flower heads on Amazon. They came in bulk. We can probably provide a link if you're interested. And then I found these napkins, uh, $4.99. I did get them for 40% off. It says Rejoice in the Lord. And I grabbed these from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to need two of the panels out of one napkin. Now remember, as you decoupage, you have to take the one ply off the back of the napkin before you decoupage. And I'm gonna take some Wise Owl varnish. And be sure to have a piece of Saran Wrap available. So I'm gonna add the Wise Owl varnish. This too can be found at chocolatefancy.com. And I'm gonna lay down my first napkin. And I'm gonna use that piece of saran wrap to help me move out any wrinkles or bubbles. The saran wrap is just a protective barrier so you don't tear the napkin as they do become quite fragile, especially once they get wet. Just trimming up the edges. Now my second napkin, all I'm interested in is the uh, little plaid checkered at the, at the bottom of the napkin, but I'm gonna use it for the top portion of this mason jar. 
so the top and the bottom match. Again, I need to take off the back layer of the napkin. Make a plan as to where it's going to go. And now I'm going to add some more Wise Owl varnish. Place down my napkin piece. And again, use the saran wrap to remove any wrinkles or bubbles. Now, once everything is positioned, at this point, I'm going to take some more Wise Owl varnish and apply a coat over the entire mason jar and napkins. And once this is dry, you can hang it on your wall. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. And for paint products, the varnish, or any transfers, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.